It's going to be tricky conditions out there for the Scullers. Attention! Go! And both Scullers are away fairly well, but very aggressive start there from the Sculler on your left-hand side in the Bath Station. That's De Jong. But I think she'll just be looking to try and stick with Lisa Sheenard. Scala on the right-hand side in the Buck Station for as long as she can. Uh, Shane Ard, uh, last year's runner-up uh, in this event. Uh, Netherlands International, she's the class act. And uh, you're right, I think De Jong is going to do her best to try and just keep up with her off the start. Try and get a lead, see what goes from there. Yeah, Lisa Sheenard, she's really coming on very well. I called her race the other day. Uh, and recently in Poland at the World Cup as well, where she made it through to the final. So a couple of A-final appearances internationally. Unfortunately for Lisa, she failed to qualify the single skull for the Olympic Games, though. So she is A-final material on the international stage, but unfortunately won't be getting a race at the Olympic Games in Rio later this year. But I would think that perhaps she's got an eye on, on maybe sculling in the long term. She's nice and tall. She's about... Uh, she'd be close to six foot, very strong, and, and I think that she moves the boat really nicely. I think both scullers do, actually. I, obviously, sculling is sort of the ultimate expression of, 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 of rowing, because uh, everything you do to move the boat is always down to you. You can't hide behind someone else. And they both scull really, really nicely. We shouldn't forget these are international level uh, oarswomen. Uh, De Jong in her own right. Um, She's an under-23, or has been an under-23 international for the Netherlands. But again, bits like that last race, there's a difference in weight between the two and, and class two. Sort of Shaynard, uh, more powerful sculler, but also much more experienced too. Technique, uh, first class. Yeah, that's right, Shaynard. She's been sculling for a while. Like we said, this is her uh, third Henley. She's a two-time finalist uh, in both the Remnant and the Princess Royal. She came up last year against... I believe it was Mirka Nakova, the, the Czech scholar, the Olympic champion. So in Mirka's absence and in the absence of the Olympians, which quite a lot of people like to enter Henley, knowing that they have a bit of a chance when the Olympic Games are coming up, uh, that some of those key athletes competing at the Olympic Games aren't able to compete, aren't able to include it in their international schedule. Although we are seeing Mahe Drysdale, of course, the Kiwi Olympic champion in the Diamonds uh, later on. Nat Koba, the winner for the last three years straight, but she's obviously not here this year. So I think Shane Ard fancies a chance of uh, avenging last year's defeat and uh, going one better and actually winning the uh, Princess Royal Challenge Cup. Absolutely. And, and we're talking about two athletes here, both from the same country, from the Netherlands, who are at really different stages, I think, in their careers. Ruth de Jong, she's 22 years of age. She's only 65 kilos. As you said, she's a three-time under 23 world championship representative for the Netherlands. She won a bronze in the women's double skull in 2015. Uh, and then, of course, we've got Lisa Sheenard on the left-hand side of your screen there, who's 28 years of age and 71 kilos. She's been in the skull for a little while now and uh, seems to be maturing and getting better with every, with every race that she has and with every year in the skull. It's interesting to look at the contrast in this view. But uh, Shane, I'll just be that little bit more stable throughout the stroke, sort of more fluid, uh, more accurate application of power. And as we put the blades in, the power comes to the legs, the core, and the back. So the mis misnomer that rows use their arms. We don't very, other than to get, take the blades out and follow an acceleration through, we don't actually use your arm muscles very much. It all really comes from the legs. And you see as the blades go in, that power is accelerated all the way through. Lisa Sheena coming down the track. At just under 30 strokes a minute, about 29 and a half strokes a minute. She's looking very long and very composed now. This isn't too much of a challenge for her, and, and I suspect that these scholars would have had the measure of each other, both coming from the Netherlands and being national and international representatives. They would have, uh, I suspect, known, known of what they were up against today. Yeah, absolutely. But De Jong's not giving up by any means. Uh, Scully at 32 strokes a minute. So we're through halfway now. As we look up the course, we see uh, two of the local rowing clubs on the left-hand side. We've got Upper Thames Rowing Club and the Remenham Club, which is uh, part of seven of the rowing clubs on the River Thames. And then after that, you see up towards the regatta enclosures. 
So here, it's one of the more exposed parts of the course as we come past uh, Upper Thames. So that strong gusty crossing, as we look at it, will be coming, as we've got the television, will be coming from behind us towards the Scullers. And Lisa Sheenard from the Netherlands on screen there. She rose very, very nicely. Nice smooth stroke, long strokes. You can see she keeps her arms patient and extended through the drive phase of the stroke really not overworking her stroke at any point she's she's looking very comfortable at this stage which is what we expected to see but a great race i think from ruse to yong on the left hand side she said that being in the semi-finals means a lot to her because she's trained very hard and she'd love to win this cup looks like that's not going to happen but it does mean a lot to make it to the semi-final stage doesn't it jim yeah it does and what a great day to race too. the the uh, sight's starting to fill up and as you look from this shot the sun's out a little of the fluffy cumulus cloud it's just a brilliant english day uh, just the atmosphere as they come up to this part of the course for the last third where you know, hundreds and thousands of people on the bank watching and the buzz and it's the atmosphere and that's why the athletes come here to race and we're seeing a huge amount of interest from international crews particularly it's always been a popular event for international crews we've got the dutch men's eight racing here who are one of the favorites to win a medal at the rio olympics uh, in just over a month's time and so they can really build it into their preparation in fact a lot of uh, under 23 representative crews are here because the under 23s are quite late this year normally they'd be in a couple of weeks time but they're actually after the olympic games in the last week of august so i think it's an attractive option for a lot of under 23 representative crews to come here get some good racing experience uh, and and prepare for that event and to get noticed too you know it's a really it's a, a wonderful opportunity for them to win one of these elusive henley medals uh, which is so desired amongst all the athletes uh, and yes you're right the gb under 23s are represented here because their competition is later which allows them to bit match and the olympic team plus the gb olympic team went off on their training camp earlier this week which unfortunately meant they couldn't be here to compete And this seems to all be a matter of process for Lisa Sheenard. I think she's come here with one thing on her mind, and that's to go all the way this year after being the runner-up in this event last year to the Olympic champion, Merka Nakova. She's coming down towards the enclosures now. Very measured skull. She'd be looking to certainly conserve something for tomorrow's race so she can put together her best race and hopefully take home that trophy. You can see between the two skullers here, uh, Shenard sculling at 27, De Jong uh, just over 30 uh, strokes a minute. So I, I totally agree with Shenard saving a bit. The job's done as long as she uh, keeps focused. It's that long, fluid stroke with that boat running. But she needs to save something in the tank for tomorrow. Lisa Shenard here, as we mentioned earlier. She failed to qualify in the women's double skull for the Rio Olympic Games and she sculled recently at the World Cup in Poland, made the final. She came second in the women's single skull at the Holland Becker Regatta back in June. So another very popular international regatta. We know that a lot of the crews racing here will have raced Holland Becker as a part of their season as well. And we can hear the crowd showing there. Congratulations for Lisa Sheenard, who's put together a very patient skull to book herself a place in tomorrow's final. She's sculling so beautifully. Uh, you can see that her boat moving in a very fluid fashion through, through the water. It's not pausing at all at either end of the stroke. It's constant fluid motion all the way through. Really good example of technique. And as we come up to the finish line here for the Princess Royal Challenge Cup, it will be Lisa Sheenard of the Netherlands over Roos de Jong of the Netherlands.